The first time I heard whale song, it was on vinyl in the 70s. It was so ethereal, so unutterably exotic. Now it's the everyday sound of winter at Ningaloo. But it's never lost its mystery or its majesty. Fantastic. The data last year showed that they, the song from WA, it was two songs recorded here in this, this population last year. And one of the songs was picked up by the uh, reunion Madagascan population off, off over there. So it's amazing. Yeah, we're, we're talking, you know, global, global movements and uh, yeah, cult culture sharing between populations. The world's humpbacks have distinct genetic populations separated by vast oceans. But, like all great travellers, they absorb cultural signals from other groups whose rifts they mimic and pass on. The theory here is that there was cultural transfer down in the ice when they were feeding. So this crossover, there's animals from our population go southwest down into the ice, some of the animals from the African the Madagascan population comes southeast. So there's cultural transfer going on. We don't know what these songs signify. All we can be sure of is that something intelligent and dynamic is rippling out from the murky bed of Ningaloo's nursery to the great world and back. A song that does not remain the same. <laughs> 